Today we're going to be transforming this bedside cabinet using Rust-Oleum Crackle to give it a crackled vintage effect. We picked this piece up for less than £25 and it's going to be unrecognisable when we finished with it. To create the cracked effect we need to use a base coat and a top coat and also two contrasting matte emulsion colours. The base coat is sandwiched in between the two matte paint colours. To finish it off, we'll put the top coat on, which acts as a clear protective seal. To get started, you need to put your dust sheets down just to protect the area. Take your product and get an old cloth, just a rag, slightly damp, and just give it a wipe down to remove any dust particles. If your object is already painted, you can probably get away without the primer if you just give it a really good sand down first. To start with, we'll just paint the primer on. I'm using a Zinza product which is called Bullseye 123 and it's a great product because it dries very quickly. I always follow the grain of wood with the brush strokes. Don't worry too much about getting it perfect, this is just to give it a base. We've left this one to dry now for over an hour, so the primer is perfectly dry. The base colour will determine the colour of the cracks and the top colour will obviously be the finished colour of your product. It's very important that you use a water-based paint. Now you'll notice as I put this on that I'm beginning to paint the colour against the grain of the wood. Now it's really important that I do that because when we put the top coat on, which is the second colour, that will go with the wood grain. Once finished, just need to leave it to dry for a couple of hours. So next we take the base coat of the crackle and then we're just going to apply one nice even coat. You're following the direction of the paint strokes that you did the base coat in. Leave it to dry for an hour. We're going to put the second coat of emulsion on. Once you start painting, you need to put it on as quickly as possible because the crackle effect will start almost immediately and it's very difficult to stop it. If you want to, try and test it first on a test piece of wood. Now remember, when you paint it on, you need to be going with the wood grain this time. It's really important that we don't overwork that. So you'll see I've made a little patch there. It's absolutely fine. So just load the paintbrush really heavily with paint and in one brush stroke, just brush the paint on thickly and evenly. The thickness of the paint is going to determine the size of the crack. And don't worry if there's a little bit of unevenness because it all adds to the rustic look. If you make a mistake, don't worry, it can all be saved. All you have to do is get a damp cloth and wipe off the emulsion and also the crackle base, and then you can just start again. When you're happy with your finish, leave it to dry overnight the next thing I'm going to do is apply the top coat and this is going to seal the effect if you just paint it on and then what you do is you leave this one to dry for two to four hours. This will give you a nice hard wearing finish. And there you have it, a finished crackled set of drawers, another successful transformation by Rustoleum. For more information, videos, advice and tips, visit the website rustoleumspraypaint.com and thanks for watching.